and it's going to cause there. trouble. Thanks. <laughs> Who said that? Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Tammy. Hello, other Cheryl. Hello, Roberta. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's Alana. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get this up and going just in case you have Your Bill Becca, has to switch hi, over. Becca. Okay. Teresa Adams is on. Okay, I'm going to be jumping back and forth, people, so uh, I might answer you on one or not on the other. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be all kinds of confusion because we're trying out YouTube Live tonight as well as Facebook Live. So we have two different cameras, so I might be, I don't know, I might be looking off, staring off into space. Anyway, we'll have to update this, but we would so appreciate it if you would give our page a like or a heart. If you would follow our page, Raincross Farm Makery, on Facebook, and it's also, you could subscribe to us on uh, Raincross Farms Makery on YouTube, and if you are so inclined, we'd love it if you'd sprinkle out our video to your crafty friends. So, here we go. Okay, um, you going to put on that link or you want me to, the comment, pin the comment? Bilbo, hmm? you want me to pin the comment? Oh, I thought I did. Did I not? Uh -uh. Okay, I got it. Okay. He's going to pin the comment. Our keyword tonight is July. July. So type in that word July in the comments, and that will get you entered into our um, our weekly drawing at on Sunday night. So thanks for sprinkling. Don't jump too hard. Of course not. Hello, Alana. And, and I'm looking to see if July works. Let me know if July ends up working. Okay, just take a look at that. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Hey, Beth. I don't think I said hello to you yet. Okay, so we are... Okay, so it look... Is it, is it working? Are you guys getting the message when you type in July? Let me know. Okay. Yeah, and it will. Typing in July will not work for you on YouTube because I don't have a program that uh, auto messages from YouTube. We're looking into that. So if you are watching from YouTube, there should be there should be a link that you can click, and that should get you entered. Or just go ahead and enter. Type in the word July and I'll I will, monitor I the will comments. Find the link and post it right okay. Here the top. okay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. No, I'm not. Teresa Adams says no, I'm not. Okay, Cheryl says no message. No message. Okay, let me go check it out. You know, that's just that's just strange, right? Okay, let me make sure it took the keyword. Oh, that's why. Because that's the wrong keyword. I'm going to change the keyword. What did you do or didn't do? <laughs> a different keyword. Okay, now you can type in July. It should. It should work now. I had a different keyword in there left over from the last one. Okay, Cheryl got the message. I'm not sure why. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now type in July and you should get the message. The keyword is July because we are working on July's club. So club is our monthly subscription program. And so if you are a club member every month, you get to your mailbox free shipping. There they go. There, okay, That's good, 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 good. Okay, so this is July's exclusive club transfer the only person the only people that get this transfer are club members and designers and it's called explore your world i've already done what did i do with it i don't know i already already made one design with it we're going to do we're going to do something a little bit different with it tonight also what comes with that is three packets of coordinated paste colors so with this, with this one comes Dune, a pretty um, light brown shimmer copper, and eucalyptus. 
very pretty. So we're gonna we're gonna actually use these colors. All right, so we're gonna use two of them, but I'm gonna use my jars. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me get back to Facebook here. I don't know. Okay, well, it's, here. it's just me on on YouTube That's okay. so far. That's okay. So yeah. I'm, I'm talking to myself. Okay. Well, there you go. Get yourself a lot of comments. Okay, so also your very first month that you are that you join Club Couture, you get a free mini squeegee also. And the only thing you don't get at this point is a surface to put your design on. Now, come August, that is going to be changing. You're not going to get an entire surface, but you are going to get, um, with Club, you are going to get an accessory piece. So in the beginning, it will probably be some of the smaller um, wood cutouts. So I'm not sure if, it, if this one was August. I'm not sure which piece they would pick. It'll just depend on the design. So that's coming in August. That's new and improved club. Okay, so we are, we, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. This is, this kind of just screams vacation vibe to me, which is explore your world. You're on, it's summer. That's the time most people are, kids are out of school. They can travel, they can go explore their world. And what do you do when you go on vacation? Unless you're me, you take pictures. And maybe you still print those pictures off. So if you do, I'm gonna we're gonna put together a little board that you will be able to display your pictures on. So let's get started. There's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, 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 um. Okay. Um, if you know somebody like Bill who <laughs> who can run the laser machine. Um, he, Bill cut out all of these little individual shapes for me. So we're going to make, we're going to make little magnets out of these. We're going to put one little design on each little piece and we're going to turn them into magnets. And that's what we're going to use to mount our photos. And then here is the long strip to, so we can chalk in that word explore. Now, if you don't have these, we haven't put these up in our shop yet, but if you are interested, just type in the word cutouts and I will track you down and get you that information. YouTube is a few seconds behind my phone. Okay, so don't try to watch them together. <laughs> okay, so if you didn't have these or you didn't want these, another way that you could chalk these individually to make little magnets is our chalk suede sheets. So these are these are 12 by 12 sheets. Now here's one that I've already used part of. So we're gonna actually use part of this. I'm just gonna demonstrate this, but we're mainly gonna do that on the wood cutouts. So this is um, super heavy paper. It's like, it's like a milk carton weight. Um, and it, it, it takes the chalk paste really, really well. Looks awesome. And so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna chalk on that and kind of fussy cut those to do the same thing. So let's start with painting where I'm going to paint the background of all of our cutouts. And so I've marked which side goes up. Hopefully that's right. Okay, so I believe there are 10 shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's 10 little um, designs of uh, tourist places, tourist destinations. There's the Taj Mahal, Big Ben. Uh, this is, as far as we can tell, this is not a specific castle, but it is representative of castles around the world. Uh, here's the Golden Gate Bridge. This is uh, St. Peter's Basilica, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't know. The, what's that one? Um, that's as far as I can tell. That's uh, Istanbul. Istanbul. Okay. Yeah. Um, the Eiffel Tower, the Great Wall of China, the Statue of Liberty, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Okay. So let's get these painted up. I'm going to use my chalk paste and use it as chalk paint. And this is the same color that comes in your packet. So I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. 
And I'm going to get myself a tray. I'm going to thin this down. So I'm going to put this is this is the consistency of sour cream or Greek yogurt. We want it a little bit thinner for paint consistency. So I'm going to put a blob of that right there. And then I'm going to use some distilled water and just add a little bit of water to that to thin it down. I'm using distilled water because if I have any extra left over, if I've used distilled water, I can put it back in the jar and not worry about anything uh, growing, any bacteria or anything happening to the rest of my paste if I use distilled water. It kind of keeps it pure. Okay, so I'm going to thin that down, stir that up, and get to painting. Brush. Okay. So I, I think I'm just going to, I'm not going to paint the edges, kind of like that burnt, um, the, the black edge that gets put on it when you do the laser cutter. I am not paying any attention to comments. Now to feed your cat, be right back. Go feed that cat. No, Can't have a hungry fine. cat. Cats are able to handle them. <laughs> Not they get loud when they're hungry. Not all cats. You have you guys will have to tell me. Our cats, we didn't specific our all of our animals. We just have food out continuously for them, and none of them um, overeat. None of them take advantage of that. I know some people say, no, if I had food out all day, they would, they would be as big as blimps. So tell me, do you, do your animals have food all day long, or do you have specific feeding times for them? Just curious. Even the chickens have food all day long. Of course, they're free ranging, so. Okay, so I'm painting, I didn't, I didn't mention this. I am painting this background in the eucalyptus, pretty green. And then we're gonna chalk on it with the shimmer copper because I like that shimmer copper. Let's heat this up. Okay, I don't know where all my comments go. Somehow I have commented with two foot cat footprints. You what? <laughs> I it I keep seeing my name as commenting. It's like I can comment back. Sure you did. It's you. It's you doing that. Your your other half did. My other half. Okay, Brenda, did you get a response yet? I don't see it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so Brenda got hers. Yeah. Um, Let me know if you typed in July. Carol, Carol and, says she never got it. Carol Matt says she never got it. Okay, try it one more time. Okay, and if it doesn't work, just type a comment that says link doesn't work. Link didn't work, and I will make sure I enter you by hand. So again, we are using our July club design. The only way you can get this particular design is if you're a club member or a um, designer. So if club is something you are interested in, want more information, info, club info, I will, I will get back with you after the live and give you more information and see if it's something you want to do. It is $21.99 a month. And like I said, every month you get a transfer and three paste packets. Oh. Every once in a while, it's having a problem over on YouTube. Well, it's not like we weren't expecting bugs to work out, to have to work out. 
Cheryl just said it's working better than the other one right now. And <laughs> then, of course, right then it starts right then it's to have a problem. Okay, so Cheryl Mesh said. Okay, LinkedIn work. So okay, I will. I will make sure after the live, I will make sure and get you entered by hand. And you're commenting July to get entered into our weekly drawings that we hold every Sunday night. So we had a drawing last night. And we had a winner. I can't remember the name offhand. I sent her a message. I don't think I heard back from her, though. Okay, what was the question I asked earlier? Oh, about your animals. Do your animals have food out continually? One person said yes. Yes, they have it out continually? Somebody had it up there. Roberta says my dogs have food all the time. Okay, and they don't overeat. Lana says, she says, I leave cat food out all the time, but Liberty would have a con one continue meal if I let her eat. <laughs> Okay. I guess if that's all they've ever known. Okay. I am hearing snacks all day long. I'm hearing the pitter patter of little feet up in up, up in there. Up in there. <laughs> I think we may have a little friend down here with us. As long as he stays up there. Do. Stays up there and doesn't pop down into my project. Okay, so I've got all of these backgrounds done. I am also going to, I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint on my paper. Just because I want, I, I kind of want the same background. So this is our chalk suede paper. Brenda says she leaves it out too. Okay. And I'm just going to paint this up real quick. So we'll give it a background color. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm just jumping around all over the place. Okay, well. Uh, Cheryl says she keeps food out all the time in her room for the little dog, but the others get fed twice a day. Okay. Okay, so I've got this. I've got this little piece painted, so it has a background, and this is just our chalk suede paper sheets. And I have all of these other little wooden pieces painted. So I have this much left over. Because I used distilled water, I can put this right back in the jar, and it won't grow any little goobers. Okay, I'm going to put that down, put that down, put that away. Let me put the lid on this, and we are going to dry these real quick. Wash my fingers off, and let's make sure this is all dry. <laughs> playing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. He's just busy playing. That's all I have time for today. Okay, so Carolyn said her sister left food out for her dogs all the time, and we had six dogs in the house at one time. So, so we are not necessarily odd. It, it just depends on your dogs, I guess. Ours, ours limit their food. In fact. Our dogs won't eat their dog food. 
until they are certain that there is no human food that is going to be coming their way. And when they're pretty sure we're not getting any of that human food, then they'll go to their bowl. Hey, Karen, hi, it's huge. We are using our club transfer and we are going to make a photo board, a magnetic photo board. I said, well, I... Okay, Beth, Beth, don't leave food out for your kids all day long because they will, <laughs> they'll eat you out of house and home. Oh, Alana is off on an emergency call. Hopefully, hopefully it does take care of itself quickly and you can come back to us. But if not, be sure and catch the replay. Okay, I want to make sure these are dry. And because this is freshly painted, I'm going to wax them because I'm going to be putting down this sticky transfer. And if I'm not careful, the sticky back transfer will pull up the paint that I just painted. So we need a little bit of protection. So we're gonna use our surface wax. This is, I sell this in my shop and it is just clear paste wax. I'm getting, I'm getting down towards the bottom of it, but containers usually full. This container lasts me a long time and I'm going to just, I don't want a lot of wax, too much wax and then my paste won't stick to it. I'm just yeah, Becky, you're not the only one. She's got little beggars. <laughs> yes, they have perfected that, that look with their eyes, those big brown eyes. Brenda says her vet told her to put recommended about two. If they don't eat it within five minutes, pick it up. The last dog had thyroid problems. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. it has never been a problem with any of our dogs, but I do I, I do hear a lot of people who say they can't leave food out for their dogs all the time. Honestly, I would probably forget to feed them. They would probably remind me that they had not been fed. <laughs> okay, almost done. So thin layer of wax. And I'm actually going to wax this paper here. I've also been told that you can actually use wax paper and wax your surfaces with that. We didn't have our paste wax. I have not tried it, but I've heard it works. Okay, so I've got that wax. I can be a little harsh on, on uh, the live chat on um, YouTube. I didn't know I could do that. Surprise. Okay, now I've got a, a microfiber cloth. I'm just gonna use it to buff off any excess wax on there so that my paste adheres really well. And we will get to chalking the designs on these. Since the dog I have now weighs about seven pounds and needs to rest and cool and then walks away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, our dogs are 25 pounds and 47 pounds. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know. Duke's starting to get fat. Oh, he is not. He's my little fat boy. No, he is not. And he call, runs call, it off. I call Daisy my fatty anyway. She's not fat. He calls her fat. He's giving her a complex. Okay, almost done. Almost done. You didn't have to watch paint dry for too long, right? Okay. 
Okay, so I've got all of these. So let me take this away. And I'm going to get out my, this is Shimmer Copper. Same thing that comes in the club kit. Shimmer Copper. And I'm going to get out my design. And I'm also going to fuzz this. Fuzzing means I'm going to lay it down on a fuzzy towel and get a little bit of lint or fuzz on the sticky part so that it kind of uh, lightens up the stickiness. Because again, I, I don't want to pull off the paint that I just put down because it, it hasn't had time to cure yet. So a little bit of fuzz. Oh, you meant to put in, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's start at the top and let me see if I can identify. That one is that one. So this one is the Taj Mahal. So I'm pushing that down, making sure there's no air bubbles, and I'm going to get my shimmer copper, and I'm going to stir it up just a little bit. And I'm going to get a squeegee, and I'm going to squeegee over that silk screen design. And we're going to make a, we're going to end up making a magnet out of this. So this would be cute just, even if you didn't put photos up, you could just arrange this on your refrigerator. You don't have to have gone to all of these places to be able to use this transfer. You can pretend. Besides, you can go anywhere via YouTube, right? That's correct. You can visit anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to peel that off. Pretty pretty. So here's my Taj Mahal. My, my camera has to be further back than it used to be. And I'm, I'm st I, so he's got the, the multiple camera frames, and I don't know which one is showing right now. So what do you want me to I don't know. If I, this is the one you'd like to use right here. I don't know. I don't know. So, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't know if you can see it or not. We're still working this out. Okay. Oh, and I'm nice. going to, I'm going to put this down so I don't. Okay, Ready? next is Big Ben. So, Ready? I think. She has a Big Tom cat. And it's so long and has long legs and short hair. I'm going to assume maybe it's orange. Let's see. Well, long legs and short hair. Okay. Cheryl, you say you see two. I'm looking on my on my YouTube channel on my phone, and I'm not seeing where. Oh, there it is. It says two people. Oh. Two people, two people watching. That's just Cheryl and I right now. Okay. But... Hello, Laura Wilson. Well, we are still trying to build up our YouTube channel. So if you're not a subscriber over there, be sure and go look for us and push that bell and subscribe to our channel. We are about 125 away from is Big Ben. I don't know which camera for YouTube. You just you just keep it. Okay. It's overhead for the most part. Okay. Well, I was trying to do a close up. Oh, you're trying to get a close up. Well. Okay. Uh, next is this castle. 
Are you trying to figure out which one that is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that. Okay. I think it's that way. I, Tony, I think what I need to do is to actually, you know, print it on there or something. I don't know how to. Um, oh, you don't want to do that. That is so much easier with those thin uh, stencils. Well, these are these are. There's uh, Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. See through. Hey, Rhonda. Welcome. Glad you could join us. How are things in Spokane? Okay. I hope you are all ready. I hope you have all seen the previews. Launch day is tomorrow. We are launching our autumn autumn collection starting tomorrow and I would suggest if there's anything that you really like you might want to snatch it up because I think things are going to sell out a lot of the more popular things may very well sell out so here is this castle and next we are going to do our windmill that one's easy that's our Dutch bros that one in the Leaning Tower of Pisa is easy. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe Liberty might be uh, easy also. I think so. Here's our, here's our windmill. Okay, the next. In, in Spokane today. Did you? We, we, it looked like it was trying to rain, but, but it was, it was much cooler today than it has been the last couple of days. What, uh, what, uh, Teresa wants to know, what time will it be for GA, for, um, Georgia? What um, time zone are you in? Are you in Eastern? Is Georgia in Eastern? Okay, if Georgia, okay, it, okay, let me do it this way. Pacific time, eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, mountain time. 10 o'clock, central time. 11 o'clock, Eastern time. Did I say that right? So, if you have not seen the preview, you can't order yet until tomorrow, but if you want to see what will be launching tomorrow, you when you when you typed uh, July into the comments, you got a well, except for somebody, you got a message to your golden gate bridge. You got a message to your messenger and there was a um, button you could push it the message basically says congratulations you're entered into our weekly drawing and then there's some buttons that you can push and and so you can pick on um, product info and that will give you another message and then you'll get a couple more buttons to choose from if you want a, a, a link to all the supplies that I'm using tonight. Now, not the transfer, because that's only club. Um, you can click on supplies, tonight's supplies, and see what's there. You can click on uh, club, join club or get more info. There's a button you can push there. Or there's one that says preview autumn. If you click on that, it will show you the preview of what is launching tomorrow. And again, you can't purchase it yet, not until it has launched tomorrow. But you can get a preview and see what's coming out. Beautiful uh, year-round designs, uh, autumn designs, Halloween designs, and some Christmas designs. Not all the Christmas designs that we will be coming out with, but this is our first our first set of Christmas designs. So here's whatever that is, the Basilica or someplace, I don't know, 
someplace far, far away. So let's do our do our Eiffel Tower. Hmm. The only one of these places I have ever been to in person is the Golden Gate Bridge. My son has been to uh, Paris, so he has seen the Eiffel Tower. He saw the catacombs. He's, well, yeah. He spent all his time in the catacombs and playing around on the subway. And my other son has been to New York, so he has seen the Statue of Liberty. Not me. I have seen the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty in Las Vegas, if that counts. Okay, here's our, here's our Eiffel Tower. Now let's do our Great Wall. Um, Teresa says, I'll be gone all day tomorrow. Why couldn't I go down? Wow. <laughs> well, if you want, well, I mean, it's, it's online, so I don't know where you'll be. You can go online from anywhere if you're, if it's available to you. If you want, if there's something you really, really want, you have to do it tonight though. Um, send me a message. Tell me what it is you want to order and I will in the morning if you're if you're afraid something will sell out. Uh oh. Okay, Great Wall of China. Okay, Statue of Liberty. I think we just had a hiccup on everything. Has everything paused for a moment on all uh -oh. screens? Oh. Good night, good. Cheryl. Hope your headache goes away. Good night, Cheryl. Take some Tylenol. Turn out the lights. We'll see you tomorrow. Everyone say good night to Cheryl. I don't know what that is. I'm hoping it's in the vent and not just poking around on top of that vent. He won't eat much. I just don't want him to jump out on top of me. He's not going to jump out anywhere. The only place he'll jump is out the chicken feed. I'm not seeing any little beady eyes. Little but beady I'm eyes hearing like something. That. Okay, and let's do our... Gee, I wonder which one this is. This is the Leaning Tower. I told you that'd be the easy one to find. Line it up. Line it up crooked. Okay. And then we will do our big old words explore. That's going to bother me. We're gonna have to set a trap. What was that? We're gonna have to set a trap. Okay, I'll take care of the mice, but not right <laughs> this minute. We're hoping it's not one of those pack rats. It's not one of the rats. The leaning, leaning tower. And then let's do our explore your world. We are actually gonna do this twice because we are going to do this one over on the paper also. So I'm going to show you how, if you don't have the cutouts, you can do them on paper. Well, let me know and I'll, I'll make you some cutouts. We can yep. get order well, up. Well, you have to be club members, so I will probably put out a uh, an email to my club members 
and see if anybody's interested in ordering the cutouts. She just says she'll go look when we finish the live. Okay. Already then. Okay. So here is Explore Your World. Okay, now I'm going to put this on the paper, and we're going to chalk it there, and then we're going to cut that out. Well, Robin, Good. you know what would help me now? What? Another monitor. <laughs> Only money. We have to make some more sales before you can get another monitor. Okay. And it doesn't need to be a good monitor. Peel this off. Okay. Okay, so I've got Explore Your World on paper. Now. I'm going to put this down on a towel. This is actually a dish drying mat from the Dollar Tree. And while these are kind of drying, I'm gonna show you how I clean these up because these are reusable. Company guarantees that you can reuse them 10 to 12 times, guaranteed. But I know if you clean them up and you clean them up quickly and well, you can get a lot more uses out of them, 20 or more. Okay, so I'm going to start with either a paper towel or I like to use a Swedish dishcloth, and I've well used this. And I'm just going to use this to start by getting that top layer of paste off. This is not doing a great job at cleaning out the screen, which is what is important, but it is getting, it's getting as much excess paste off before we start with our board eraser. So I've got that done, paper towel, I'd throw away this, I'm gonna rinse out and reuse. Now I'm going to switch over to my board eraser, which is like a um, magic eraser. These don't have any chemicals in them. We don't wanna use any chemicals on our transfers that can break down the screen, that can break down the adhesive, but this pulls all of that paste out of that screen. So I'm gonna do this to the front side. I'm going to turn it over because that paste likes to go through. That's its job. And I'm going to give it another spray. And I'm going to do the same thing with the board eraser on the back. So this is pulling all of the paste out of that screen. And on the back side, I'm also pulling off that fuzz that I put on it. I wanna remove that so I don't, so I still have a sticky back. Okay, and once that screen is cleaned out, no paste left in there, I'm gonna leave this air dry, sticky side up. And when it's done, I'm gonna put it back on its backer. And I just spilled water on this. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. I'm gonna kind of dry that. Okay. And then I put it back in its little plastic, little plastic case. Okay, so let's make sure these are dry. Then we are going to that thing is, is bent. I'm gonna have to put something heavy on that. I'm gonna make sure these are dry. Spray this, this little guy. Uh, 
How will you do the shipping? I'm a club member, but not with you. Um, are you out um, purchasing from the um, um, I would not want to take I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you were you have another designer that you're working with. I would hate to um, step on that designer's toes. So I don't know if uh, I don't know if your other designer is doing something like that. Um, let me know. I really feel bad if I if I was making a sale to somebody else's customer. That makes sense. I have a lot water on this, so I'm letting this dry a little bit extra. I think they're dry. So these are good to be magnetized. We'll put magnets on those. And then I am going to, I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm just going to kind of fussy cut around this. I'm not gonna worry about it being square. I'm just going to. Now, I could go into more detail with this if I wanted to. Or I could just do a very basic cut. Round off those corners. Okay, so there we go. Now I have a, a piece that I can put a magnet on. Okay, what did I do with my magnets? Here you go. Okay, so I got these magnets. These aren't super, super strong magnets, but I got these at the Dollar Tree and you get 12 of them for $1.25. So they're about 10 cents each. They're not super thick. They're, they're, they're kind of thin. They're about the size of a nickel. And we are going to glue these onto the back of our pieces. And I might actually have to pull out a few extra magnets because I've got two of those. Okay. So I got my glue gun. Whoops. My magnets are all sticking. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I just know, I just know we're going to have a mouse come jumping out of there and land, and land on the... Well, while I'm live, they probably will. Okay, is this... Did you forget to turn it on? No, I mean... Some of them might be big enough that I might want to put more than one magnet on. Am I dating how old I am? Good night, John boy. Oh, did everybody know that? Karen said good night to Cheryl because Cheryl had to mm -hmm. go off. And so I replied to her, good night, John boy. 
And I said, are we dating how old we are by saying that? I don't know. Some things I just assume everybody knows, but apparently not. Apparently we're old. Who's old? Those of us who know who John Boy is. Hi, right, John Boy. Hi, right, Grandpa. Is that how it works? Something like that. I don't remember all the names. Because she loved that show. <laughs> I didn't watch it too much. I don't know why. Carolyn said she knows who John Boy is. And I watched Little House on the Prairie. I just never really watched the Waltons that much. I don't know why. Not that I didn't like it. I don't remember what night they were on. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen at all. That it that isn't saying much at, at my house. He doesn't say. Okay, so this big one, I'm gonna put two magnets on. This is gonna show people that too. Yeah. So that's the. One and then I'm going to put magnets on the back of this paper one, and I don't have any more of the. Uh, have any more of the Dollar Tree ones, so I'm using some Walmart ones. Well, happy birthday, Carolyn. Happy birthday Very on Monday, next Monday, in a week. Okay, so I've got all of these things magnetized, and so let's put them on display. And I grabbed some old photos, old vacation photos. From when our kids were young, I just grabbed them out of the box. And this is the first surface I'm going to put them on. This is one of our Aiden frames. So this is a chalkable and rechalkable surface, but it's also magnetic. This size happens to be sold out at the moment. But I can, if I can put this, I can just play with this. Well, you know, I've thought about that too with the, you know, how that one's magnetic. Mm -hmm. That's nice that you can buy it that way, but it can go on your refrigerator. It yep. can go on just a sheet metal, a piece of sheet metal if you want anything. Really? You, you think I don't have any ideas? Okay, so here's Mikey at Half Dome in Yosemite pretending he is standing on top of it. So we are going to put, I'm just going to put a random magnet and then. I don't know where this was. I I don't know. This was in 2001. Here's our kids. We are over stopped overlooking the beach. And let's do Eiffel Tower. And then um here's one. I think the kids this the kids were up at camp. Let's Put, let's do Big Ben right there. And okay. And here's Mikey. I don't remember where this was. Is this, I think this might have been Las Vegas. He's doing one of those uh, climbing. I have a bug that keeps. Uh... Okay. So. I've got a cute little board to display pictures or whatever I want. Okay, you could also put it on your refrigerator. Also, like Bill was saying, you don't have to have one of these boards. I went to the Dollar Tree and I just got a cookie sheet. A cookie sheet. A cookie sheet. Okay. For a dollar twenty-five. For a dollar twenty-five. So this is a little bit smaller. 
but that's okay. I'm going to put that there. I could paint this up if I wanted to. And let's see, here is, here is a picture of Bill and my oldest son when he was little. This was at the beach. This was a youth group camping trip at the beach. Here is my son at the Statue of Liberty, and I'm getting low battery on my phone, so we need to finish this up. So this one, of course, is going to get the Statue of Liberty. And then here's one. They were at the Mark Twain at Disneyland. And let's put that there. So, so another way, just another way of displaying them using this awesome design. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this craft and. Let's see, tomorrow night we will be on, um, we're hosting for Craft Around the Clock um, at 6.15 Pacific time tomorrow night, fun craft. And looks like we have frozen. Yes, Beth, you might have even been on that one. I'll have to look and see. Yeah, I'm wondering why your- uh, You might have been in there. Your signal died. Sam. I see Sam. I don't know if it's because I have low battery. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, so I think we're back. Okay, so we're going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching and